Okay, in my process of buying a bunch of year-end budget gun deals, we're going to start reviewing some holsters, budget holsters for budget guns. Uh, there are a lot of quality holster makers out there, and prices usually run anywhere from, you know, say 60, 70 to hundreds of dollars, depending on what you want. But I found one for the Taurus GX4, okay? And this is a Mission First Tactical Minimalist Holster, specifically designed for this pistol. Uh, I did a real long video on this on Rumble where I wear it and show you my opinion of it. This is going to be the condensed version. I got this from the Taurus website at a cost of $30 plus the shipping, so not bad. And what you get in the bag, and there are some instructions in that on the back of the package, we're not going to go over that, but you get this little rubber piece in here, and what this is for is this is set is a right hand holster with the uh, claw which is a uh, and this is a in the waistband holster and it has this claw on there and what that does is when you clip this over your belt this puts pressure up against your pants and your body helps retain the holster and pushes it in towards you now if you wanted to go left handed with this you'd have to remove these screws and put the clip on the other side, but the claw is only for right-handed, and that's why you have this spacer. The purpose of that is to set this up for you uh, to use it on the left hand, minus the claw. Okay. And as you see, this clip can be rotated for an angle. Okay, when you put it how you want to angle the gun, you know, when you clip it into your uh, waistband. I myself would probably angle it like that and use it in a five o'clock uh, position hole. Now this thing does work well, okay? And what it does is you just snap the pistol in there and this is molded just for this gun. It does not cover the whole pistol it covers the trigger, which is important, and it does hold the weapon fairly securely when locked in. Okay, it does make an audible snap when you pull it in and out. And nothing else will fit in here. This, this holster is designed just specifically for this pistol. And like I said, with a little bit of a rake to it in the back at the five o'clock hold is how I would have it. I did an in-depth video on this holster on Rumble and I will put a link to it down in the bottom. And the uh, appendix carry, it was easy for me to get this whole, you know, gun in and out of the holster without no problem. Reholstering it was all right. Reaching around behind my back, I had difficulty, and that's from my physical limitations. I could draw the gun fairly easily, but I could not get it back into the holster with any ease uh, in the 5 o'clock position. But I found the appendix carry, even though I could draw and reholster fairly well, was not very comfortable for me. So... Uh, would I buy this holster for $30? Yes, um, depending on that. It has a lot of good reviews. A lot of people, if you go to the Taurus website, do like this holster, the minimalist holster. It works well. Okay, it's just for me, carrying a gun inside the waistband could be slightly uncomfortable. But for $30, this holster more than does the job and is usable. Uh, like I said, personally, an appendix carry for me is kind of uncomfortable. I put it at the five o'clock in the small of my back. Uh, but then again, if you watch that other video, I show you to where I just drop it in my pocket. And yes, on a lot of these 
Uh, inside the waistband IWB holsters, this claw does make a difference. It does help keep the holster in place and it does push down and tip the handle so the handle doesn't quite stick out against the body towards you and it does not print. It, it does help in that. So that part of it's there. So that's my quick review on it. I'll put a link to uh, this on the Taurus site and to my Rumble video where I do an in-depth thing where I actually wear this and show you how it looks. So there you go guys.